It's story time, motherfuckers. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This your boy, Blizzle Brasco, baby. baby. And it's story time. The series where I tell y'all a crazy ass Blizzle story while you enjoy some Black Ops 3 in the background. You looking at some domination. I got a lobby, a party full of YouTubers. I linked everybody's channel in the description. Y'all know the routine. Make sure you check them out after you finish watching the video, man. All good, guys. Y'all gonna see we absolutely go ham on this enemy team. I almost feel sorry for them motherfuckers, but at the same time, I don't, man. Step your game up, pimping. <laughs> but anyways, man, yes, yeah, domination. We on the Redwood map, man, and I'm using a gun. I don't think I've ever uploaded any Shiva gameplay, man. Y'all know I'm a running gun SMG style player, but every once in a while, I'll play a little conservative, man. And y'all see I got that Varix 3 site on there. The Varix 3 site is a dope site because you can toggle between the three times magnification and the one times magnification. I like the site, man. Make sure you check that shit out. Anyways, man, so we switching gears a little bit today, and instead of telling y'all a story about ass and titties and all that other good stuff y'all like hearing about, man, I want to talk about the music industry a little bit. This motherfucker taking a swim and shit. I don't, I don't know. Well, somebody else got him, so it's all good. I'm going to get this motherfucker on this A flag right now. Get off the A flag. Now, <laughs> Dumas, 74. But anyways, man, so the music industry, man. So most of y'all who've been sub to me for a long time, man, y'all know that, you know, I am somewhat still in the music industry. I've been in and out of it for about 12 years now. I got really, really serious with it in 2012. Me and a partner of mine, we formed a record label and management company by the name of Carolina Records, man. And... You know, we were rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling, baby. I mean, we were winning awards. We were, I mean, we were booming. Business was booming, you know, and it was just, it was an awesome fucking experience, man. Unfortunately, some things happened and I'm kind of not affiliated with the company anymore. Um, I'm more so just kind of doing my own thing, man. A bro one of my brothers has his own recording studio. I sell beats through there um, and I just... You know, do a little mixing and mastering here and there. I'm also focused on YouTube and on my regular career as a dispatcher right now, man. But I want to talk a little bit about the music industry, man. Because I tell my friends and people that I play with online all the time, what the fuck? I didn't even realize I died right there. But I got my streaks, though, so it's all good, baby. But yeah, I tell people all the time, man, the music industry and YouTube gaming are so similar. Like, it is, it, the, the similarities are just, it's identical almost, man. And, you know, the music industry, you know, a lot of people, it's not what a lot of people think it is. A lot of people think you have to be famous. You have to be famous and you have to be mainstream to be successful in music, but you don't. And that's what a lot of people don't realize, man. I've been nominated for awards. I've won awards. I've made some decent money. You know, if I, if I would have done it full time and really just put my mind to it and just focused and dedicated my life to music, you know, who knows where I'd be right now, man. But... You know, I've made some decent money. I've I've met, you know, famous rappers, famous singers, producers. I've worked with a few famous people. I mean, you know, it's, you know, the music industry is not, you know, a lot of people look at it and they don't realize it's all smoke and mirrors, man. And the people who you think make a lot of money ain't making no goddamn money. It costs more, sometimes it costs more money to be successful than you make in the music industry, man. But I was blessed enough to where, you know, I was, I was turning a profit, man. You know, I was turning a profit. And it was all good, man. I started doing music uh, when I was about 15 years old, man. My older brother was doing it, so I wanted to do it too, man. And I just, I just learned the program. I, you know, I was already in band, so I knew how to play the keyboard. I knew the basics of that. And I just started making beats, and I did that off and on, off and on, off and on over the years, man. You know, just to put a little extra money in my pocket here and there. But like I said, I didn't really get serious until 2012, man. And you know, the thing with the music industry, one of the biggest things, one of the most frustrating factors, get the, get out of this cave, man. Wait, wait, why you, he ran up in there like Rambo in this motherfucker, and he got quick scoped or hard scoped by your boy. <laughs> y'all see the y'all see the homie tactical angel just took one to the face, man. My condolences. <laughs> nah, tactical man, he's a cool dude, man. His link's in the description too. Make sure y'all check him out. But yeah, man, like the biggest thing with the music industry that kind of turned me off is it's so oversaturated now. And that is why I decided to take a break from it. Because 
it's it's just like YouTube. There's so many people now. It's it's easy to get your hands on pirated software to make you know to create music and record. You know, getting equipment. You know, ten years, ten, eleven, twelve years ago when I first started doing music, it wasn't that easy. Look at these hit markers, though. Do y'all see that bullshit? And I fucking died. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, it's it's so easy now to get your hands on the, the the tools that you need to be a producer or be a rapper or whatever, man. It's just it's so much of it out there, man. A lot of times people just get tired of the whole check out my mixtape, check out my video, yada 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 yada. You know, so I, that's why I kind of decided to take a break from it, man. Because you know, I, I got a good job, good career, and I'm kind of liking this YouTube thing, this gaming thing, man. So that's what I'm focusing on right now, man. But yeah, man, just a little bit of. You know, background, the company I was with, Carolina Records, I was the co-owner, co-founder of the company, man. We got nominated in 2012 at an award show in, in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia. We got nominated for um, Single of the Year. The single was actually produced by me. Here's a little snippet from the video right here. And uh, we actually won Single of the Year. That was the first award we won. And then also that same year, we got nominated for Record Label of the Year at the official this motherfucker I'm, I'm gonna get your ass now I don't think you're gonna run around a little wall and stand behind a tree and not get shot in the face baby <laughs> but yeah we got nominated for record label of the year as well as single of the year we didn't win single of the year but we won record label of the year in 2000 in 2013 actually that was and we also got we got nominated you know both years after that 14 and 15 we didn't win but it was still an awesome experience man to be at the award show man you know you had a few decent um you know celebrities there man it was just an awesome experience the models ooh, the models man oh my god i mean just ass and titties and it was just it was just awesome man i loved it look at these motherfuckers now, I'm, now i want y'all to watch this shit closely man the was supposed to be a two-shot kill right look at this shit what the fuck was that and of course i'm gonna die right here bullshit one of those random black ops 3 things that nobody has an explanation for but anyways yeah but yeah man the music industry man definitely was an awesome fucking experience man i spent a lot of time in in different various different studios to include my own that i had at my home man and i just i learned a lot i met a lot of awesome fucking people man and you know if i could do it all over again i would but I'm getting older and, you know, I don't want to be one of those 30, 40 year old dudes who's still trying to break into the industry and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I, I did my part. I had fun doing it. I made good money, made good contacts, man. But, you know, it's just something I still love music. I still do it. Like, I still make my own beats for my videos and stuff like that. It'll always be a part of me. But it's just something that I decided to just, you know, put on hold for a little while, man, and focus on other things, man. But yeah, man, if y'all got any questions, anything y'all want to ask me about the music industry, man, leave them down in the comment section, man. I gladly will answer it. Y'all see, we busted their ass. 200 to 59. That's some good old, old-fashioned pub stomping. 34 and 4. If you enjoyed this video and this story, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. And I'm out this motherfucker. Peace. Peace.